Hey everybody, I'm back. Like anticipation to some of y'all that might have to pay the man. I'm trying to tell you one thing. If you one of them people that made a whole lot of money and the man say you ain't paid enough and you need to pay a little more, let me give you a bit of advice. If you owe the man, ask for an extension. If the man owe you, tell him it's your money and you want it now. I'm just saying, that's the way you got to go with this thing, guys. I'm you, guys, now let me say, now some of you guys are looking at my face and stuff. Okay, it's scruffy, but here's the situation. Like, my job had me working like, like 830 hours this week. I'm just saying. And so all of a sudden, we in at work. Everybody's working. Sweat coming out of our backs. The taskmaster sitting up. Okay, so we sitting there, guys, and they come in and say, guess what? We not working surrogate. What? We not working surrogate. And it was dead in line with what God said. It's going to be sunlight and pretty surrogate. Guess what I have to do? Wash my vehicles. Not one, not two, but three. So I got to wash all the vehicles, guys. And after I finish washing all the vehicles, I then got to take care of the things I have to take care of for Sunday. So, guys, I haven't had my face and stuff shaved and stuff, but I'm going to have it done by the end. Don't nobody care. Hey, everybody. Don't nobody care. Are you going to be amazed what these people care about? If they do, they'll just talk about you in the comments. I don't want them to talk about me. That's why I'm trying to cut them off in the corners. Well, that'd be okay, baby. Well, guys, that's you what's going on. You're still handsome, scruffy and all. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. And I don't matter, it don't matter what y'all say. My wife said I'm handsome, scruffy and all. So, baby, this is one. God, that is a big... Did that cup of coffee grow? So, that's what's been going on with me, guys. That's why I'm... They are not hard of hearing. You don't have to holler. Did y'all hear her? They, you don't know. They heard me. They heard me loud and clear. Okay, guys. So here's the situation. You don't have to whisper, but you don't have to holler. What's the medium voice? What's the medium Use voice? Use your inside voice. Okay, so guys, with my inside voice, the thing I'm just trying to say to you guys is, I got a lot of stuff going on today. I hope you said your blessing, Say my blessing, sat down before me and I started eating. I thank God always for my food. You act like I just, like I'm a carnivorous devourer of stuff and just, a, 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 a carnivorous. A what? A carnivorous devourer of things. Like I'm just going to run and just eat up everything and I ain't going to tell God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, I'm just saying, guys. Thank you, Lord. So, this is where I'm at, guys. So, here's what's going on with me. I got all of this thank stuff I have Lord. to do in thank a short you. period of time because it was kind of cold. You know, God hadn't turned the heater all the way up. So he got the heat up a little bit now. And so what we're doing is I'm able to get outside and get the vehicles detailed and washed just just in time for tomorrow when they call in for rain. So my thing is, guys, at least they'll be clean in the rain. Yeah. Did you, I hope you guys enjoyed that Louisiana Crunch Pound Cake video. Yeah, that cake, the video just didn't do it justice. Of course, you guys couldn't taste it. Greedy Monster tasted it, but... If you all love coconut and pecans, listen, that's a winner. And let me confess. That 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 was a true. Let me confess. I taste more of it than I should have. Okay, y'all seen the taste that I gave Did you it. take you something to work too? Tell me why you ask questions that, that that's irrelevant to conversations. That's a relevant question. No, I got to say, don't you be talking about doing better than the other people. Sweep around your own front I, door. I told you I've been doing so better. you try to sweep around Daryl's. Well, I... Well, Daryl, you got to watch Daryl. I ain't said Daryl. Who? Theirs, theirs. Theirs? Sweep around your own front door before you oh. try to sweep around theirs. Okay, that, so said let Darryl's. me... Uh, okay, let me just say this, guys. You sweep your own porch and I sweep mine. Stay out of my business. Well, they tell you to take your own advice then. I got them, y'all. I tell them for you. Well, let's together. All us just keep doing better. The best that we can. Yeah, that cake was good. It was good. I'm going to have to do a clip of... When we do a cake, I need to do a clip of once you we've sliced it and gotten it wrapped up so you guys can see. Yeah, when I take this to all my co-workers, you should see them. Like a bunch of doggone kittens waiting for a mama cat to feed them. I get sick and tired of every last one of them. <laughs> no, but I got a new crew now, guys. So I just you looked at some. Love. Yeah, I just looked at some of them that's used to getting cake. 
and I go right past them and give it to new people. Now they're looking at me like, you're going to get beat up at work. They act like the cake is a right, not a privilege. You're going to get beat up. Somebody's going to jump you. Be like, Rob got jumped for some cake. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lay out in the middle of the floor and say, is this workers comp? <laughs> you are crazy. But people like food, honey. Well, those are the things I've been up to. But guess what she's been up to in being trying to plan, guys? You need to hear this. Y'all need to hear this. There what you, you been go. planning? There you go. I ain't started planning. I've been looking. What you been looking at? I've been looking. What you looking at? Tell the people. What you looking for? What you looking for? Hey! hey. What you looking for? What you looking for? Hey! What you looking for? What you looking for? Hey! See you go, fat. There you go. Tell the people business. Tell them. Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna tell your business, babe. I ain't gonna even let them know you've been looking for something. You don't know. I'm gonna get back to what I'm what I'm looking for in just a minute, but I wanted to make a comment about a comment. Um, and there was a comment made from a subscriber that asked about our wedding rings. They noticed that we never have on rings, and they noticed that there was not even so much of a tan line. I guess that would indicate that we do wear wear wedding rings or bands, but yes we have wedding rings and bands and we do wear them so i guess you've not seen any of our other videos where we are outside of our home when i'm at home i don't put on my wedding rings if i'm out when i come in the house one of the first things i do is take off my i usually wear my wedding ring and i have a ring right here on my pointer finger and that's a ring that was my mom's so i usually wear those two rings you know when I'm not at home as for my thumb rings you probably notice those they never come off only time I take them off usually is like if I'm cooking something I may need to use my hands in which I try not to do too often but depending on what I'm handling in the kitchen I'll you know maybe take them off so I know you've seen these in a video and they're always on but yes we do have wedding rings so go check out some of our other videos and that's for um, me as for me. Wait a minute. Some of our, some of our other videos where we're out riding with the minors or our college transition, college life videos, you will notice that we do have on rings. We just don't wear them in the house. And let me say 99.9% .9 of the time, if I'm at home, you're not going to see our rings unless we're doing a special video. Now, if I'm really dressed up, I may put my rings on. Or if we come in the house to immediately do a video, I may not have taken it off yet, but... That's why you don't see. But as for me. And she said because she knows the love is strong. And is. And let me say this. Without rest. As for me. Because my love so strong. And my boss have me working 900 hours in a week. We're not allowed to wear wedding bands where I work at. So my point has been. I really don't have, have one on. By the time I come home from work. I crawl up to the door. Ring the doorbell. And my wife brings out this. This. Pen to pick this rolling pin to pick me up and get me to the shower. She dumps me over in the shower where I can clean myself up and then I get up and I'm able to walk around. And so it's at night. There's no need you're to put so, my wedding band you're on. You're so doggone extra. <laughs> I'm just no. And that may be a, something that may be something too that she noticed that if you come in the house, if I've mentioned that you've just gotten off work or whatever, maybe she's noticed too that you don't have a wedding band wedding band on. But I don't know. Right. Anyway, so, that's and so that's what it is. My job, I'm not allowed to wear a wedding band for safety purposes. You're not allowed to wear wedding bands. So but this is one thing I thought rings, about. Period. Rings, period. Rings, yeah, yeah, rings. Yeah, rings. That's what I meant. But I'm saying my wedding band. Because I don't wear all these rings. Look, look. But here's the thing that I thought about, guys. And I need your guys' help about something. I have heard, I don't know, I can't say. But I have heard that tattoos are addictive. So what I was going to do, because to get around what they're saying at my job, and because of my love so strong for my wife, I was going to get me a tattoo of a wedding band on my finger. So even though I can't wear what they say I can't you're, wear, you're I will... Looking, you're looking at the wrong hand. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks. That mm -hmm. lets you know how long mine been going. Hey, thank you. So even though I cannot... Wait a minute. Me, That's the wrong one right there. That that means no. No, baby, it's left. What's wrong? That hand you use for the ring over here. This no. I'm gonna put the ring over. Here. So, even though I cannot wear a band, I'm thinking about having a tattoo of a wedding band 
put on my finger so my wife is always with me. Not only in mine, but people can see. But here's the problem. I'm going to get me a tattoo, too. What are you getting a tattoo with? On my back. Real, 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 real low. You know? Girl, let me tell you something. You about to quit changing in front of people, Donna? We ain't going nobody to see it but you, but I don't want to see that, Donna. Ah! What is wrong with you? I just can't do this. I can't. I got to go. What bye. So here's the thing, guys, that we're dealing with here. Here's the thing. So I don't want to get a tattoo. Why you act like something wrong with that? Oh, that's nasty if you was to see that. See what? I'm your wife. Don't be on my knee talk about my business, please. Keep this between me and you in the bedrooms. <laughs> but you was just talking about tattoos. There's a lot so, of women had him. I can get something cute on my ankle. Anyway, you got to be back. careful what you put on you because you do know your body ain't always going to be tight. You know, as you get, as you go on in life, boats start to loosen up, things begin to drip, and the words that you put on your body sometimes begin to run into each. Guys, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> somebody's going to have to give you a bath. <laughs> so here's the point I'm making, guys. I don't want to get this tattoo, and then all of a sudden, I mean, we share a lot of stuff, but I ain't I sure just want to taste it, though. Because yours toasted on both sides. I want to taste your toes, because you always taste them, toast no, them on one you side. You don't need to taste my toes. You always taste them on one side. You was greedy. You was greedy, girl. <laughs> and so, my thinking is, if I start with this right here. Stop hollering. Donna, my voice is just like, it carries. It's the acoustics in the house. It carries. So, my question to y'all to this. Here's my unknown. To all y'all that have gotten tattoos. And I'm even talking about some of you ones that's trying to hide them now that you don't got a little, you don't got a little more season to your life. So if I get one tattoo, is it true I get addicted and want two and three? Cause I don't know, guys. I don't know. Sometimes I can get one, and get it on your neck. Yeah, I want a tear, I want a teardrop. I want one on my neck. Run across the floor. I don't know. So that's just the thing I'm saying, guys. Whatever it is, that's what it is. Guys, that's just what I'm going to let you guys know. That's why I don't have a ring on. Because when you're working a lot of hours and the place won't allow you to wear it, and when you walk out the door, you forget you even got a hand. None less a ring on it. So. And another thing, too, really quick. We had questions about the piano. Who plays the piano? Nobody really. There's this very special story about the piano um, where it was gifted to us. I used to try to play, you know, they say, my, my dad's a pastor, so they say PKs, preacher's kids, pastor kids, end up doing everything. A long, long time ago, about, oh. 30, about 30 years ago. Wait, but everything I, was what? Everything was In what? church. Oh. In church. You're going to either be singing, directing, playing the drums. Oh, okay. playing, even if you don't know, when you're starting or establishing a ministry, oftentimes the preacher's kids they try if they can't play the drums they're gonna try to play the drums or try to play the keyboard and for some people they really develop that gift um not having you know known how to play not knowing how to play when they first started so i used to try to play the organ just a little bit but it didn't you know didn't hit on nothing but like i say as it pertains to the piano no one so it's a beautiful piece of furniture that is so sentimental to us um, and that's why we have the piano so a lot of people wanted to know do you play we want to hear you play no no and most of the time when it gets played Bishop Williams um, one of our bishops comes over and he plays I think my cousin Al Dean um, he's been over here before so Dean has played it and I, I'll tinkle with it you know just kind of mess on him but nah listen it's a it's a teenage grin. I mean, if you can have a baby grand, why you can't have a teenage grand? Well, y'all wanted to be an adult grand piano, adult grand grand piano, or a teenage grand piano. But it's been here. But I'm sick and tired of it being a baby. It's got to grow up sooner or later. I'm, I'm just saying, dog. Why can't it be that one? Why can't it be the other one? And I see your eyes looking at me. <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about what I've been doing. Okay, what you been doing? You guys, we mentioned in our last video, and honestly, we've mentioned in several videos about wanting to do a meet and greet. 
So this week, you guys, I started looking for a place. Several of you made comments in the comment section, and there was one in particular that stood out about, you guys need to start in the triad area. <laughs> so, and it was so funny because we were just having that conversation about wanting to start it here. So, when we do the meet and greet, again, I've been looking and now my wheels are turning because there's, there's a matter of budget, you know, what, what we're going to budget for. <clears throat> that means feed the people. Well, not just feeding, but, you know, of course you have to pay for the venue, the food. and So we have to budget for it. I'll have to plan for it. And, again, we've decided to that we're going to have it here. <clears throat> My thought process right now is looking into maybe late July. Maybe. This, this is my thought process as I continue to try to plan and, and, and you know, just, just get this figured out. Then I will definitely give you the definites. But even in us planning, because it's our first one, we're going to start small. So in starting small, again, when we plan it, it will be in Winston-Salem. Okay? It will be in Winston-Salem. And I'm trying to figure out how you guys, because I, I have to set something up to where you all can communicate with me for those who are interested. And we're looking at probably, um, again, it's going to be small, so maybe 50, 60, maybe 70 people. Again, this is very, very preliminary, you guys. So what I need you guys to do, because what we want to do in doing a meet and greet we want to do a meet and greet luncheon. So it's going to be something very laid back, very casual. But as a thank you to our subscribers, we, we will be so excited to meet you guys. And as a thank you for your support, um, of course, we, we want to do, you know, provide a, a luncheon. And having said that, so that means those who are, I don't know how we will select, how we will choose those who will get the invite to come um, but those who are invited it, it, will be, it will be very important it's going to be very important that when you are SVP that you really plan on coming for one because it will take a space for someone else who really wanted to come like if you guys don't show up then we will have spent money because once we pay for plates we don't get that back okay so if you show if you don't show up then that's money gone so <clears throat> And we understand that sometimes emergencies happen. So if it's a situation where somebody has RSVP'd and an emergency comes up and they can't come, we totally, totally understand that. But for someone to maybe just feel like, well, I don't feel like, you know, say for instance, if they were coming from Charlotte or, um, and although I say the triad area, we're starting here. But I guess if anybody wants to come, and again, that's, that's all that part we have to work out. How are we going to choose the people who are, going to, who are going to attend? So, I just wanted to kind of put that out there, you know, in, in your mind. You can be thinking about it. Like I said, we're kind of thinking about maybe towards the end of July. And, you know, just think about whether or not you really want to come. Because, again, if you RSVP and then you don't show up, you know, we've wasted money. And then there's somebody else who really wanted to come and didn't have the opportunity this time because the slots have filled up. Okay? So, let, I, let I just wanted to put that out there. Wait, it seemed like it was something else I wouldn't forget. Uh, oh, another thing too. Again, give me just a second because you may lose okay. my train of thought. Um, so, what I need you guys to do in the comments, let me know. Let us know. Now, of course, we can't respond to everybody in the comments, but let us know if you're interested in the meet and greet and the city city and state where you would be coming from okay so that'll, that'll kind of give us an idea of judging maybe what we're looking like so again leave a comment as to if you're interested in a meet and greet keep in mind the time frame we're looking at right now maybe about July and then that's going to depend on the venue because July, June and July is a busy time, and we've not booked anything yet. So it's going to depend on whether or not those dates are available. So let us know if you're interested and what city and state you would be coming from. And then we'll just kind of 
we'll kind of go from there. Okay. And, and one thing about we are very sociable people. We we don't meet strangers. And so I can assure you, we have never been people that give less. We're just natural givers. And so that is to say, we ain't gonna have some cheap a uh, bologna and cheese sandwich and throw it at you and say, there you go. No. Uh, my wife really takes just the same quality she puts into her, um, the videos or uh, what she uploads to you guys. That same quality will be put into the vineyard, vineyard and also to um, prepare it. Everything is to give you guys quality because you guys are. We are so appreciative of you guys. We really are. And so it's not going to be some stiff thing that you're sitting there, okay, now we hear what we do. Well, you're going to meet new people and we're going to open up and just talk with you. And we'll just, hey, we'll open books. You ask a question, we'll give you an answer. So what we're looking at, guys, what we're saying is, my wife will put a lot of thought into this. And the worst thing that could be is when you put out all of that money and um, planning and time, and a person just does not take it as serious, or it doesn't really matter. We know, like you say, we know things come up, but there is someone that probably would have. And so... My thing is, we just want to look and see, um, see who is interested, and I can assure you, it will be fun, guys. It will be fun just being with um, you guys. It will be like a family reunion of family members you haven't seen in a long time, or family members uh, you're just meeting. I'm, I'm excited just thinking about it. Um, it's it's exciting. So. Another thing, too, with me having it here is having it here in Winston-Salem because I'm very hands-on. You guys, I am very particular. I'm very particular. So it allows me to be able to be one-on-one -on -one or really be in close communication with any vendors that I may need to deal with. So, you know, it's, kind of, it's challenging to do that going to a city that I don't know anything about. And eventually... We would love for it to grow where we can go to different cities in an effort to try to make it as convenient for you guys. You know, and that's why we would take it other places because I know even having um, subscribers in California and just different, you know, different places, that's, that's a trip trying to get to Winston-Salem. So one of these days, we will get to that point that we can, you know, take it to another state and then that will require my husband and I, us going first, trying to find a venue because we don't know anything about other states. So, <clears throat> so again, we are excited and even we'll start small here, but even if next year we did it here again, then hopefully we can make it a little bit larger on a little larger scale and then... Now, let, yeah. me, let me also interject this, right? And as we um, grow and get to know you guys, we use, um, we network. We get to know the people that, you know, we get to learn you. If we, let's say, for instance, just an example, if we're coming to your state, let's say, um, if we're going to go to California, and there's a body of people out there, da 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 and we want to go and meet and greet with them, we will be able to connect with someone that will be hands-on with us, touching bases with us, and things that, um, you know, you, you reach out, you trust them, they work with us, we get things done, have everything set up, we come in, everybody's there, hooray, hooray, hooray! You know, enjoy ourselves, and then we come back. Yeah. So the point that's being made, it make, I'm making is, sometimes we will reach out to you guys that are um, a distance away. We will reach out to you guys, and um, and not just one or two. <clears throat> we can kind of get hands on with a couple of people to find out um, the environment, the area, and everything, and what will be best, and how do we go um, network, and how do we go by, do our research on this end, and work together. We may have eyes on the ground to go in and give a. We may have a virtual tour, but um, it may be a, um, a person that can go put eyes on it for us, for themselves, and give us their opinion. Yes, it looked good as um, far as looking at it, um, what they're going to give you, but here's the thing you have to be concerned about this, that, you know, those type of things. We want to make sure that everybody is protected and safe and things of that sort. So that's the thing I'm saying, guys. We go the extra mile just for you guys, because y'all are quality people, and we'll make sure you have quality when you're with us. I'm excited. So that's what we have going on, you guys. When I say I am so super excited, um, and it's just this preliminary phase, I'm just so excited just going looking at the different venues. It's like, wow. 
I'm just, I'm excited. So again, we've talked about this for, we've talked about it. You guys have been saying meet and greet. But we, we need to do a meet and greet. You all have been saying it for a while. So just know that I have finally started that process and prayerfully um, things will work out. We'll get the budget together so we can get things scheduled and we can plan to meet you guys. Oh, you want to give me your toast now? Mm -hmm. I don't need all this. So... You guys, we appreciate you all so much. We're going to go on and take on the rest of our day. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff I got to get done. I know, dude. Number one was busy early this morning. So we appreciate you all. We I love you guys so much. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that subscription button, subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell. When you turn the notification bell on, it shakes, and that's to shake something. Shake something, okay? You good? Oh, last thing. Hit the nose! Hit the nose! And thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Shake Bye. some. Just shake some. Just shake some. Just shake some. Just shake.